Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is so bad. Oh no, 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 no. This is gonna be 10 logs, five planks. Do you guys are working 24s? Oh no. Oh, this could be so bad. This could be the end of the run. <laughs> that is not getting done. Oh no. Well, hello. Well, hello, hello. Trying a different intro, you know? Do some voices in the intro. I think the the color looks a little funny. Just I think it's the new um the rotating sun mod that I put in. Ooh, look at that. Nice and pretty. Um cool. What is the current agenda? It's going to be making sure that these little the stilts get finished so i can get to the metal let's see uh they built the two houses so i should be getting more kids that means i get more workers i don't know if i should expand that out a little bit they're still building this stuff over here my gears are at 82 i'm gonna need a lot of gears for these flywheels they still haven't built this rooftop terrace 278 wood i think I might give them I might give them a little bit of a time lapse off the off the front end and we can watch the kind of how the rotating sun is going to work and the moon lighting. That was pretty much a full cycle. It's cool. I like the rotating sun mod. I like the like the look that it gives the game. But let's go check on my where the metal is going. Or, you know, where I'm gonna get my metal resources. Uh pretty close to having this done. Or at least, you know, for the most part, getting up to here. Going to need to get the scavenger flag, which I have enough I have enough science to get. There's no way it's going to work out here. Let's have him right here. Yes. Let's pause that for now. I'll let that kind of grow on its own versus harvesting it for now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I have eight kiddos. Uh, still one free bed. That'd be filling up this pretty well. My hauling post. Uh, not quite to having a builder's hut quite yet. And then they have to finish building out those the stilts to the the ruin island in order to get uh start working on this stuff food is still great wood is pretty good this is almost pretty well implanted this fluid dump is not quite getting this little pool filled as quickly as i'd hoped for i might right here where i have a little where I have a little empty pocket, I might put another fluid dump. Hmm. Because you should be able to maintain it once it's filled. But maybe the issue is just filling it. Let me get another fluid dump in here. Let me kick that up in priority. What What do I have here? I have pause, pause when drought starts, and then I have unpause when temperate starts. I should also probably pause this when bad tide. No. Well, he can pause when bad tide starts. This guy can keep going. The idea would be just kind of maintaining this. So I want to get to this second level. That way I probably will hydrate this pocket of trees up here. So I don't have this little dead pocket. Hopefully this will do that. But we will see. Then this is still being... Well, I mean, the metal ruins is still being worked on. So they don't quite have full capacity kind of turning through this. And I think... Because it's cycle 7. So I have this cycle this drought the next cycle to make sure that i have this plus floodgates up so i'm probably gonna have to push for as soon as i get into cycle six to making sure that this is getting done um that this is finished by the end of that cycle your overconfidence is your weakness where are you guys at with this cool these should get built you know versus this getting built kind of there's only one item that can get jobs assigned. Here they should have both jobs assigned simultaneously because they should be able to make, oh no, in order to have, this needs to get built first before this could get resources for it because it's dependent on this one. So not quite. Oh, I just noticed that 
instead of finishing building out the ruin stuff, it looks like this stuff was probably built before I put the ladders up. So let me go over to my ladders and get those pumped up. So pumping those up in priority, pumping that up in priority. I want to get that done first so I can start collecting this metal. Where am I going to store the metal? Uh, I could potentially store it just kind of here on this little island. Uh, probably not the best place to put it. Oh, this will, this could also be a forestry island. I mean, it, it's going to get hit by bad tide. It's only okay right now because uh, it is temperate season. When a bad tide comes, it is going to really mess this island up. Yeah, let me make this a... Let me just get a little large pile for my... I'll get it a little closer to my scavenger scrap pile. Getting the materials here. Cool. Stairs are done. I can get the scavenger up. Let's kick his priority up so he can get built quickly. I also up the priority of this, but I think I might do... There you go. Should be getting done. So now I'll start getting my scrap. The foundation has made the big step forward. They are getting the scrap metal from the human, uh, the human ruins. And I should start prepping to get the smelter ready which means I'm going to need to get access to come across here. I'm going to get rid of this path, get stairs to come. Oh, oh God. Stairs to come on, come on. Stairs, stairs, path over, path over. And then I will get platforms. And then gonna have, should I do stairs? Uh, I could probably do a little ladder down right there. So get a path to come across here, and then this should be, and I can go underneath my little windmills. Because I'm going to need to get this blown out so I can get a, another water wheel right here, which is the reason why I built these uh, platforms down here. Um, And then... This could go, get gone. I'm going to need to build the smelter right here. And I do have just enough. So the smelter go here. I will pause it for now. Uh, Cause I'm going to need to get some too high stilts. Oh man, 150. Cause I need to get, oh actually, duh. I could go here, get the smelter and hit F. We don't need the stilts. Uh, pause it. Let me get the power shaft to connect into there. Cool. Oh, also in my edit, I saw that. I don't know why I confused. I saw the water wheels outputting 120, essentially. It was 119. 120 horsepower or HP. And I just, as soon as it turned over to 202, for some reason, I just, I lost the 119 number. It became like 198 or something based off of my math of if a four hour HP increase. So, so I, I, I don't know what happened. I can't tell you. I don't know where the numbers got jumbled in my brain, um, but it happened. It was really funny to see it in my edit to be like, oh, I just can't math. That's good. Uh, let's check on my water pool. Mm, not quite full. Uh, they're putting on the, they're getting in the little bad water pusher, my little bad water diverter up here. I might need to already put in, where are my floodgates? There's a metal floodgates. I have my normal floodgates, which is 150 science. So I'm going to need to get that together. My scientists over here. What are you guys cooking up? Still need these buildings to get put in. Uh, do I push this? Six available workers. Should I get more housing? Let me... Oh, why isn't that? Oh, because the planks underneath it aren't getting pushed to a higher priority. So this little rooftop terrace isn't getting pushed to a higher priority. I kind of don't... I think this is just going to be my housing setup. Because I'm already pretty close to getting the initial bots. So I don't think I really need to even push that much to get um you know like the bigger housing different housing it's just like this maybe another little rooftop terrace 
It'll be one, two, three, and potentially the thin house in order to get it to fit in here properly. Because I think these two houses are, they're like second story entrances. Yeah, it's a second story entrance. But it'll be one, two, three, and then what does this hold? This holds one inhabitant. So it'd be nine more, ten more beavers. And that would be this plus, so I'd have a hauling post and a builder's hut. I think that's all I would really need in order to satisfy what I would need in order to get bots going. No, I'm going to need more. I just thought of, because uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need at least for the beginning, I'm going to need a beaver or two beavers for each one of these buildings and the refinery. So I could end up building just like the three, this triple lodge right here off the edge. Yeah, that might be, that might be the better solution in order to get the final level of like housing and uh, beavers that I'm going to need. Okay, cool. And then while I'm at it, while I'm over here, I'm going to get two more small tanks. What was I saving my... It was for stilts, but I didn't need the stilts because I could mirror the building. So I'm going to put a medium tank right here for water. Oh, a little autosave. Cool. Fly on over. How are you guys doing? Oh, no, I was saving for floodgates. Yeesh. My brain. My brain can't keep things locked up in my noggin. So I'm going to need a few in order to keep water kind of flowing down this way. I have planks saving up and I have gears. I might actually start to get or build up my bigger, some bigger storage places for my materials. So let's get here and here and I'm going to get, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I will get a large unit here for planks and then let me get a bigger storage location for my gears that takes a ton of planks don't have that yet this is 200 the pit warehouse is hmm because i could do like that and this would mean i can get a couple pit warehouses here i believe that's how they work the pit where warehouse would be there you can get a few kind of along here potentially build a stilts here a little small stilts so i can get even more is there a long is there a long pit house i don't think so you know let me just get this up here so i can get a bigger storage for gears just kind of up along this little ridge i'll put some other storage so those got built this can get built as well because i'm essentially going to be wasting effort because i i think my storage units are already filled but as soon as that goes and then this needs to get built i have 43 scrap collected let me get uh i can get this built because this is this is the only thing that's going to be a pain to get to if i get this built these two get built i can unpause this guy so that the scrap hall or the smelter gets built and then this should be enough power because this is 400 power these are only using 50 and i think this is 100 something but i should have enough to start getting metal produced and while i have metal being produced where can i put where can i store the metal probably just up here also so let's get a large pile uh, i could probably get a little some little stilts right there go to storage let's get a large pile and let's get this with metal let me go check on my diverter. This is the big cycle. This is the big cycle where this is going to need to get done. I have 150, so I already have enough uh, resources for the floodgate. Now let me get this and this going. I'm probably going to need a path to get up to these guys. And I can already, I know this seems counterintuitive, but I'm going to get rid of all that. And I'm going to get a single floodgate yes because i'm gonna need a good amount of water to come through here and all this is gonna be 
up in priority. Do I have any wood back here? Let's get that collected. And then over here, let me also get this up in priority. Don't want to have a floodgate for any of this. Yeah, probably. Let me trash this, trash this. Let me get floodgate here, floodgate here. And I'm probably going to need to get a stream gauge to do this probably optimally. That's another 150 science. And I'm going to need to get up and over this little. So if I get Kia and I do, uh, is that more or less resources than two ladders? Two ladders is 16 and 12. This is going to be four, eight, two. So 12, four. Yeah, the two stairs is cheaper. Two, two stairs and one small stilt is cheaper resources than then getting one ladder. Let's get this here. How I'm able to do that math uh, pretty in my head pretty easily. And then I just, I just forget numbers like on the last episode. I don't know. Don't, you know, Hey, you know, okay. All right, man. Don't, you know, okay. Don't judge me. All right. I'm not, I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you and you, you, you don't judge me. Okay. Okay, this is good. Uh, storing up a bunch of gears and planks. Wood is still good. This will get together when it does. Uh, I need 150 for the stream gauge. Oh, I need to get a stream gauge over here. Uh, same thing. I'm going to get just a simple ladder to come up and over. Over here. And I think what I might do is in here i might get the stream gauge to be kind of right here right on the other side of this floodgate because this should be the last of where the contaminated water will hit because the water would should be hitting off of here moving through here the contaminated water would be the cleanest or like I, I won't let any contaminated water through here if i put it through that floodgate and then over here it will be Hmm. This is going to be trickier. You know, it might be. It might be for now. Let me put levees back. I'll I'll explain after I have the, uh, the levees up and prioritized correctly. So the thing that just came to my head is the water is going to be pushing down this way, right? So if, I, if it's contaminated water, and I do the switch over when the water pushes out here, these will be closed. It'll be very hard to get contaminated water out of this area because it's just going to kind of push and pull. So if I put the floodgate here, I'd have to put two two stream gauges on either side of this in order to mark this, you know, as clean, you know, as like clean water in order to, to open it up because the chance that the contaminated water could pull here versus if I just build levy floodgate system up over here i could just put one one stream gauge up there um that feels cleaner to me than having the two two stream gauges tied to two floodgates i could just have a wall of floodgates like a simple wall of floodgates with one stream gauge it is more resources but i'm fine with it i think this should be this side should be enough water to come down into my my beavers to not really be that much of an issue and I'm actually, this is taking a little too long. I do not like, I may have underestimated um, the undertaking. Uh, let me go back to my village. Let me go back to here. Let me get a builder's hut up. This is a hundred. Yes. This is going to go up in priority and I'm going to have uh, not quite the lowest work, but lesser work. Uh, let's get these guys up and that up oh i need more i need more water let's get another i'm gonna trash that that little medium tank to get another hydrator in here and i'm probably gonna need to get more uh is it pit tanks yes oh no uh Oh, no, 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 no. 
This is so bad. Oh no, 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 no. Are they going to be able to even put this together? Uh, let's not have that, not have that, not have that. What's, hold on, what's killing my, oh man, and it's so far. Um, what an unlucky break to get, to get the first chance to be the bad tide. Oh no. This is going to be 10 logs, 5 planks. Ah, oh, I should have left this all as levees. Okay. Let me do... You guys are working 24s. Oh man, what an unlucky break. Uh, this is also going to have to be regular i don't think i can actually afford to have them build that i'm going to pause inventors and my lumber mills so i can get as many workers in my i mean this still no this that could wait oh no Oh, this could be so bad. This could be so bad. Oh, no, no, no. Let's pause this. I'm going to need to gather that the water. Let's pause this forester also. as many haulers as I can who else is doing a job that I could delegate away probably the scrap this guy pause what you're doing bud this is all hands on deck oh man it's such a distance No, 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 no. This could be the end of the run. Yeah, this could be the end of the run. Man, I think I was a little too overconfident with how much time I had left. I thought I was going to be able to get a drought before the seventh cycle. Oh, man. And I blew away all of these levees. Man, what a bummer. What a bummer. That's going to kill so much. Oof, that is not, not, not good. Where I have eight workers here, they're working around the clock. <laughs> that is not getting done. That is not getting done. Oh no. And they're going to get so many sick. Oh wow. All right. Man, what a bummer. Man, I was a little too focused on getting some of the other stuff done. I should have should have gotten that levy done. Okay. It's kind of like, let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pause. I'm going to get this all just to one priority up so that potentially they can get that that last little pumper up this little like pool of water 
No, it's not going to save me. It's not going to get me emergency water. <sighs> okay. This is 16 hour days. And I think I'm just going to have to pause. And I'm just going to have to cut off. Cut off this street. And I'm just going to have to hope that they could live. Oh, God, it's only... Oh, thank God, it's only a two-day bad tide. Oh, no. They have no way of getting out to anything. Okay, cool. You guys could live. Okay, maybe I panicked a little too much. Oh, man. Well, at least the uh, my, you know, this this had a little bit of an effect. These little levees back here to be able to hold on to some good water um, so that my water pumpers could still pump out water for a good amount of time. Thank God it wasn't a long bad tide. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wowee, wowee. Man, look at that forestry area it is toast my food is pretty okay but it's, it's probably all gonna get killed yeah it's all getting killed right now man well you know my hubris it got me um <laughs> at least i'm not gonna get anybody sick they can't there's nothing that's gonna like that's making them go into the water to build anything and i can't connect it quite when the bad tide is over because this needs to get cleared out cool bad tide ended <laughs> oh man it's supposed to be it's supposed to be cycle seven that that felt like cycle six that didn't feel like cycle seven that felt like cycle six <sighs> man and i'm probably gonna need to let me demolish this and you know, in a situation like this, I almost feel like I shouldn't be able to do this. Like demolishing should... Oh god, I'm gonna get people sick. Okay, I mean, whoever's getting sick is getting sick. They gathered up that wood. Hopefully nobody comes down with anything with that exposure to the bad tide. But I just need to get this water out. This contaminated water. Man, you know... What's in the foundation report for today? You know, scary call. The scientists misjudged the timing of the, you know, of the bad tide, of the, uh, the crimson toxins. They thought they had more time, but things were more dangerous than they thought. They hunker on their little, like, first claimed island. Full of resources. Seeing that their carrots, at least, and some of their potatoes survived the full brunt of a bad tide. I still can't get him out of there yet. This is still very, very, very contaminated. I'll give him another day. Man, what a bummer. Okay, that looks all right, but I feel like they're still gonna get sick if they trample through that. God, if I get another one. Okay, I'm just gonna risk it that they can travel through this level of contamination nope close it off again i got one beaver on well uh probably gonna get a couple more okay let's give them the night or maybe that was the guy who went and grabbed this these logs because i'm not seeing any more get on well maybe that was there for a while and i just noticed it right now so new day let's get this levy up Levy up. Levy up. What is my gear plank situation? That's okay. I'm going to need to get the forester back up over here. Get this forester back up. Going to need to get this logger up as well. So we can at least start cutting down some of this stuff. Let me mark all my, uh, all my spaces that I have.
Well, I guess it's going to be kind of a slow replacement. Let me get the levees up, at least and be secure, and then I can get levees up. And then from there, what am I at over here? One unwell beaver. Did I lose a lot of old age, old age, a lot of births, a lot of old age? I just also got essentially hit by an old age spike of death. Uh, unconnected building. Oh, this guy. Get that priority up. Okay, 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 okay. Not the worst, not the worst. Just waiting for a truck to pass in the background. Um, okay. Things are replanted. Not all the trees are dead. Gives me more time to harvest those other trees plenty of logs oh okay could be could have been way worse this stuff is still taking forever to get built what is happening oh yeah they're, they're making their way to all of this stuff Let me, maybe I do need to get that the builder's hut up. Uh, let me get... No, I can still wait for, before I turn on my gears and plank guys again. Builders, haulers. Ah, please give me a break. Want another bad tide. I do not need another bad tide. Oh yeah, these guys. These guys probably could. Pause. Well, I can get this stuff up. Oof. All right, that was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Even my berries kind of survived that. Again, these these little dams kind of really did did a nice little job saving me. And only one beaver got contaminated, and that was probably the guy that came and collected this the logs that, from this demolition. Wowie, wowie, wowie. It might mean that it might be better to get these with some floodgates hmm well the idea is i'm not gonna need it you know at least i shouldn't need it i might just let them do their thing uh let's get a little bit of a time lapse over here hopefully they can get this you know worked on and get get a good chunk of it done Thank Christ. Ah, okay. It is just a drought. Cool. Man. <laughs> uh, what? What a what a what a ride that was. I'd like to get off. <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, cool. I think for the most part, I should be good. You know, that's, uh, this stuff is getting, will get built as soon as the, the, um, the bad tide ends, or sorry, the, these levees get put up, and then, has this paused? Nope. Then I could get, I mean, I still have plenty of the planks and gear resources, but I think I could ease up on... Getting people back to work. Uh, I did not put my scrapper back to work. Then I could start slowly adding the floodgates. As soon as these get done. Now I'm going to put one floodgate for now. Or, you know, chop up one levy and switch it with a floodgate. As soon as this gets built. I just kind of want to, like, be secure. And then I have that good to go. And let me do that. I'm going to get rid of one levy. And let's get a floodgate in here. 
And this could be all the way at zero in order to get water to come through. And then for now, uh, when drought starts, it's going to be at one. When drought ends, it'll be at zero. This bad tide, I'm going to have to handle, handle manually, at least for now. Because I'd rather have the stream gauge. God, I have so much science. I was in a panic tizzy to like deal with everything that my, my science is fine. Um, and let's get that kicked up. This, I mean, this is on that. Maybe this needs to get higher before this gets hydrated. Um, and I can't really move water. Oops. I'm going to need to get more water flow in here. I'm not too worried about, because it's just a drought, but it should be able to get this. I at least want to get water flooded in there for... Well, hopefully that was, that was not enough water. Um, okay. Five days. What are these? Some flowers are going to die. I can actually take the opportunity to uh, unplant these sunflowers and then replace them with potatoes when the season changes. That was another thing I was going to do before I got lost in the sauce of the panic. Um... And then I can probably get these here. Let me switch over all of these to get the floodgates in. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. We'll see how, how much water that pulls through. Okay, cool. And this should be... Oh, drought starts, so it's at one. When the drought ends, it'll get back down to zero. Um, okay. Food is desperately low. Let's get another efficient farmer here. Ah, beavers are hungry. Let's get a gatherer up. So it's still like, still recovering, still, you know, dealing with the fallout of that, that bad tide spell. Let's get this guy up so we can collect these potatoes and these sunflowers. And let's get some more potatoes planted here where the potatoes can get planted. <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to call this wild ride of an episode um, over with. In the middle of a drought, pretty low on food stores. Yeah, that was that was exciting. <laughs> That was the different kind of exciting than I was necessarily going for. Okay, cool. Call the episode there. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Take care.